Good morning, everyone. On this Wednesday in the 11th week in Ordinary Time, we have been going through uh, readings in 1 Kings. Now we are in 2 Kings chapter 2, verse 1, and then verses 6 through 14. When the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind, he and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, please stay here. The Lord has set, sent me unto the Jordan. As the Lord lives and as you yourself live, I will not leave you, Elisha replied. And so the two went on together. Fifty of the guild prophets followed, and when the two stopped at the Jordan, they stood facing them at a distance. Elijah took his mantle, rolled it up, and struck the water, which divided and both crossed over on dry ground. When they had crossed over, Elijah said to Elisha, Ask for whatever I may do for you before I am taken from you. Elisha answered, May I receive a double portion of your spirit. You have asked something that is not easy, Elijah replied. Still, if you see me taken up from you, your wish will be granted otherwise not. As they walked on conversing, a flaming chariot and flaming horses came between them, and Elijah went up to heaven in a whirlwind. When Elisha saw it happen, he cried out, My father, my father, Israel's chariots and drivers. But when he could no longer see him, Elisha gripped his own garment and tore it in two. Then he picked up Elijah's mantle that had fallen from him and went back and stood on the bank of the Jordan. Wielding the mantle that had fallen from Elijah, Elisha struck the water in its turn and said, Where is the Lord, the God of Elijah? When Elisha struck the water, it divided, and he crossed over. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, in this one, we're seeing something, a dramatic uh, changing of the guards, as it were. What was the ministry of Elijah now is being uh, transferred to Elisha. And this whole uh, request that was there saying, give me a double portion, is similar to what was given to the firstborn son. That would be the normative way of giving to the firstborn son. So in a certain sense, what Elisha is asking for is said, I want to be part of the same ministry that you had. I want to have that continue on, that inheritance, as it were. It's not an inheritance like property or, or buildings. It's an inheritance of ministry that would continue on. And then after he observes this, then he sees, uh, then when he comes to the Jordan River, he does what Elijah had done before. And it follows exactly in the same footsteps. And so there is this passing on of this great ministry. I'm reminded in this story of the, the ministry of the saints that have gone before us and our desires to want to emulate them. Obviously, we're our own individual and we have our own personalities, but there are certain attributes that can be of assistance to us. And so on our journey of faith, to ask for their assistance in this journey of faith. Stay safe, folks. Hopefully we see each other soon. Bye for now.